How's it going fellow indie game enthusiasts? I hope you're having a really great day and you're ready for some roguelike deck building action that inspired by ARPGs because today we are playing Forestigian demo version which is an ARPG inspired game where we control our heroes by using cards and deck building mechanics. This game was made by two people and the full game is going to be released this year. So without further ado, let's see how Forestigian plays, and here we go. Welcome fellow traveler. If you like indie games as much as I do, please don't forget clicking all the nice buttons on the screen, because it helps out the channel a lot. And if you are an indie dev who needs their game tested or covered, please send me an email to the email address on the screen. And now, back to the game. So we got an icon tutorial immediately. Card effects like mana or status are shown with icons, for example here. To see what an icon means, hover over it. Got it. Okay, you start this run with... We got a Prism of Vitality. Per one mana you have, plus one Vitality. It adds health and max health. Let's see about mana gain. How much mana you gain when this card is played? Zero. And Vitality Boost, uh, how much health you gain when this card is played, also as much Mox health for this fight. So, okay, we, based on this, how much mana we used, we're going to get some extra HP. We also have a Trophy of Leech. Per 10 health you have, plus 1 Leech. Next ability gains 1 mana per damage dealt. Okay, sounds really great. So, next ability gains 1 mana per damage dealt. Interesting to see in this case that a leech is not life leech, but mana leech. Exactly. Okay, mana gain. Uh, per how much? We can see this one is 110. Okay, pretty easy to understand. Portion of mana, plus one mana. And we also have like the portion of devotion. That rhymes. Gain devotion. Next mana gain is at least three. Okay, so we have a really nice combo ability just right from the start. Let's see other those deck buttons shows your whole deck. Help button shows help screen. A lot of info about the game and we also have the menu button. So let's see and proceed. Ability tutorial. Every hero has three abilities. They differ by mana cost, damage done and area of effect. Some abilities have additional effects. To see what ability does hover over it. Okay. Fireball, some kind of uh, flamey, burning hands or whatever, and this one maybe fire blast. But we will see. Choose a hero. So we got a necromancer, grim harvester. We also have a sorceress, fire magic expert, and we have an Amazon. Of course, we're going to start with the Amazon. What we have is toss, cost three mana, they have on damage to three closest enemies. Okay, this is a really nice AOE by default. Pretty sure this means that how many targets we can hit with one use of the skill. Okay, we have lunch. Cost five mana, deal two damage to two closest enemies, plus reach. Next ability reaches twice as many enemies. Okay, so for example, if we combo this, in this case, this one can damage six different enemies only by one, but you know. Uh, damaging six enemies at a time is a pretty cool stuff and we also have jab that costs four mana deals three damage to the closest enemy and reach next ability reaches twice as many enemies okay so amazon of course battle tutorial uh you get five cards every turn on turn end cards without retain are discarded okay uh where do we see retain you can Undo cards and abilities played that turn. Mana is carried between turns. Interesting. So, in this case, uh, with the tutorial, we are getting introduced a new, I don't know, phrase or or some kind of uh, like keyword, but it is not uh, getting explained here. Hopefully, it is getting explained in the game as soon as possible. So, a uh, portion of mana. We also see this and Trophy of Leech, but in this case we do not have any retained cards, so they are just going to get discarded and we will draw 5 more cards. So in this case we have like 12 mana. This place current max current and max mana. 
doesn't empty at turn and recovers to full between battles. Okay, but in this case, can I go over my max mana? Because this one, mana plus one. Let's see. Of course not. That would have been nice uh, to be explained in the tutorial, but we are going to do the undo because this can be done. And let's see. So altogether, they are going to attack with 17. 17 is a huge amount and we only have like 18 HP. So attack value, amount of damage to be dealt to hero by this enemy after you end your turn. Okay, so it's interesting and important to see that in this case, they are going to attack after our turn. So we can do as much as we want before we end our turn. Okay, nice. Small demon, ordinary enemy with no passives. Pretty cool. Tiny demon, ordinary enemy, no passives. Small demon, tiny. And we have the large demon, no passives. Okay. So this guy is the most dangerous one. But if we, for example, blast a lunge, deals two damage to the two closest enemies. And then we will blast the toss. One, two, three, four enemies will die instantly. Awesome. Okay, they are out of turn, so they are not going to do anything. Five HP, two HP, we only have four mana, so we're just going to blast the max mana. Uh, let's use this one. So, uh, okay, let's, uh, wait a second, let's undo. So three mana, three mana. And uh, wait a second, so per 10 health you have plus leech. We have 10 health. So in this case, next ability gains one mana per damage dealt. I'm going to do the same. In this case, this guy dies. And then deals free damage to the closest two enemies and they are done. And end turn. Uh, how many times do you have to take them down? We will see. So, per one mana you have plus vitality. And it also increases health and max health. In this case, it doesn't say that it increases max mana. So, it is understandable. Okay. Reach. Next ability reaches twice as enemies. Okay, so if we used a skill that gave us reach in the previous turn, it can be used in the next turn. Pretty nice, pretty nice stuff. Okay, extra mana. Then we will blast uh, this one. So one, two, three, four. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Uh, so how about we're going to hit the first four enemies. Two damage to the closest ones. Well, in this case, no. Let's just use this one. And mana, mana, extra HP. And we have, can do this, like, cost four mana, deals three damage to the closest, to the closest enemy. In this case, this guy is down. And then we can do like a reach. Okay, and turn. And now we're going to get damage by, yes, it was 12. Okay, we have zero mana left, which is kind of sad. So let's go. Uh, next mana is at least gain is at least free, but we do not have any mana cards left to use. Hmm. That's uh, it's pretty bad and we're going to die. What about this one? How many enemies are left? When this reaches zero, you win the battle. Okay. But I think we already taken down those guys and... Ah, no. Okay, so there was like a number at the beginning. Uh, so that wasn't... I wasn't sure about this. So wait a second. Our HP dropped down, but uh, we got HP back. Not sure why. We will see. Uh, okay, so 10, 10 health, per 10 health you have, we got a leech. So one, two, three, four, five enemies. Uh, go with uh, 
reach one. And then this one. And why aren't we using mana? Oh, because we got because we got leech. Nice. Uh, two closest. Let's go. And then we are going to use the same. Okay. But why didn't we die? Maybe this was the tutorial phase. That's why. Not sure. Choose a medallion card. You can choose from these two. Choose injector card. Deals some damage to hero. Gains a lot of resources. Resource or status. Choose medallion card. Gain resources or status based on amount of health missing. Sounds great. Choose a card to replace a potion. Great idea. So first one, the chant medallion. Per free health missing, next helpful status gets one more stack. Okay, but what is a helpful status? For, for example, leech. Uh, is there like a, a small tip, tutorial, tooltip, whatever that says this is a useful stack? Have helpful stack, sorry. Uh, medallion of uh, like and trophy per free health missing next ability uses health above one instead of mana okay uh, we got the medallion of leech uh, per seven health missing next ability gains one mana per damage dealt i like this one a lot and vampirism health missing okay i think a mana one is uh vampirism yeah you know, let's see vampirism because i'm a huge fan of like life leech and stuff Choose a card to replace a potion as well. Scroll of prayer, mana plus three, but not a max mana, just mana. Gain prayer, next half full status, gets twice the stacks. Ritual of prayer, loses half health, two health, per two health lost, plus one prayer, next half full status, gets twice the stacks. Lose half health, that's the first sentence. Okay, but two health loss gain plus one prayer. Okay, cool. We know Prism of Prayer already and Crystal of Prayer. For six mana missing, plus one prayer, next half will say this gives twice the stacks. We're going to use a bunch of mana, so I think that's the, the guest idea. Most enemies have passive abilities, for example, Golem take one more damage. To see a passive, hover over the enemy. Okay, we will see. 24 enemies here so we have to in this case just you know think a little bit ahead and try to manage our moves okay i still don't know about retain because maybe it should should be in here if like if i have a retain card pretty sure it will say it like this is a retain card so uh shouldn't be worried about that Permanent missing, okay, so get leech for 10 health, in this case, this one. Going to blast a reachy one to increase this damage. Next ability reach, okay. Great one. And then we will use... Uh, next half of status gets twice the stacks but uh for example la like reach because that's a helpful one in my opinion uh we do not have like six missing mana so what i'm going to do is do uh this one in this case we have six missing mana Helpful status. Uh, increase this one. And then this one. And then this one. We are back to maximum. And let's blast them down. Sure. No damage is being done to us. Really cool. But now we have to be a bit more careful. So... Per 4 health missing when prism next ability gains 2 health per damage dealt. Is it a retained card? Retained, yes, this card is retained in hand if not played. Really cool. So, like the eternity symbol means retained. Great. 
should have been explained in the tutorial. Maybe that's just me, but yes. Okay, so uh, mana, permanent you have. So let's go. Is it getting stacked? No. That's interesting. So playing the same card, if we have a stack already, sorry, a status already, and if we play the same status, it's not getting accumulated, it's getting replaced. Interesting choice. Okay, we don't need like health, but uh, okay, but it's a max health increase, so we definitely need it. And then six, two, two, seven, three. Let's see how we can do this. So like blast a jab and then blast a toss. And of course only one stuff got killed, but we are getting less damage. Okay, 14 damage was dealt. And then a bunch of missing mana. So two in this case, next half of status get twice the stack. So here we go. Also getting this and the vampirism one to do one, two, three, four, five, six, three. Uh, we only have like six. Oh boy, that's going to be bad. Potion of devotion. So let's get the stack in this case. And if we use it, it also gives us okay, cool. Aha, wait a second. Sorry, uh, I'm just going to rephrase what I've said. So if we have like this devotion stuff and then we use the same card, the potion of devotion, we get three mana, the stack being used and the next stack is being applied to the status. So this is how it works. Sorry for uh, mistaking that one. Okay, so we get eight. So this one is going to deal two circles of stone. They die and if I blast this one, uh, no, it won't make any difference. So like two closest uh, Two closest yes It won't die they won't die uh -huh. So maybe undo basically so undo free so this guy dies for sure And then we just stab them as many times as it stab toss. We toss as many times as we can, and only five damage is going to be applied. Great. So as you can see from like the third or fourth turn or whatever, the game has a bunch of really great opportunities to blast, and I really like this. So uh, per ten health you have, we have twenty health. So in this case, pretty cool. Then the devotion, then plus three mana, plus one mana, also maximum HP increasement. And we also get by vampirism, gain two health per damage dealt. So 11 enemies left. So we can blast this one and the toss. Yes, so we will get, ooh, we get level, so, but we get a bunch of mana back, wait. Oh, because the damage, because the damage, the amount of damage we dealt, great. So then we are going to do lunch, yes. Uh, no, maybe not, because I can do. Uh... Uh, yes, launch, toss, uh, toss, yes, and this guy just going to deal seven damage, no problem. Uh, okay, trophy of bleach, one of damage that, yes, because it was the leech, so vampirism and leech is two different things, leech is the mana and vampirism is the health, great. Uh, give this one plus three mana, uh, plus four HP, and then I just 
do this one. Basically, one, two, three, four, five damage. Wait, so if this guy dies, I get four back. This one dies and seven less. So dealing three damage, don't know. Wait a second, wait a second. So I have to do like this. Punch. This one dies. Or yes, we should take this guy down. And absolutely. Okay, and no stuff, and it's getting uh, discarded. Okay, cool. Two enemies left. Uh, Medallion of Vampirism. Health missing. Mana missing. Great one. Uh, give this one, then we will get three. And three more. Really nice. And we got six, and also uh, reach. That's not leech, that's reach. I cannot even remember the symbol of leech, but it was pretty similar to reach, so maybe it would have been nice to get differentiated a bit more. Uh, two damage to the four closest. Three damage to the two closest. Yes, that was a good idea. And, okay, he's going to do 7 damage, but it doesn't really matter. And we get, like, a bunch of great things, full mana, and no problem. Yes, that was great. So at the beginning, it's a little bit hard to understand the timing of the game, and also, like different statuses are not exactly how you got used to it in other games like for example ARPGs or different types of roguelike deck building games but I think this one sets this game apart and it is a cool thing it is easy to understand after like two or three turns but at the beginning maybe it's a bit too much information Okay, so, offering card, we got the uh, injector, I don't want to do the injector one, so I can drop you, you already know, offering of intellect, lose all health but one, per two health lost, plus one intellect, it adds mana and maximum mana, oh boy, lose all health but one, but with the leech, or sorry, the vampirism, we can bring the HP back pretty easily, hmm. Okay, but it's a risky one. Offering of stretch. Lose all health but one. Uh, next ability reaches one more enemy. Okay. That's pretty bad. I mean, pretty, like, you know, um, uh, what's the word? Overpowered. Offering of harvest. So, wait a second. So, per two health lost, plus one stretch. So, for example, I have, like, there's a uh, stuff I am using. Going to do... If I use a spell that gives reach, doubles the amount, which is for the toss, three to six. But per two health loss plus one stretch, so if I like 30 HP, I lose 28, 28 divided by two is 14. So I can deal damage to 20 monsters at the same time. Okay, that's kind of sick. Lose all health by one, per three health lost. Next to it gains two mana per enemy defeated. You know, let's see the offering of intellect. We will see. Uh, choose a health card. Uh, okay, we already know this. Chris okay, different, different one. Crystal of health. Per one mana missing, two health. Whoa, okay, that's really great. Flask of health, plus 12, entertain. I think the mana one is going to be our best choice. 30 enemies. Hmm, okay. We do not have the vampirism card yet, so I'm not going to do this. Leech, per 10 health. Per missing mana. Per missing mana, no. Not at the moment. So, now we need some great tactics. Get to the Mr. Two Closest. This one dies. And then we will stab six enemies. So this guy goes down for sure. 
No. Ooh, wait, wait a second. Why? Cost three mana. Deals one damage to the six closest enemies. Takes one more damage. Takes one. More. Aha. Aha. Tricky one. Okay. Got it now. So they are the tanky ones. Screw them. Okay. So four. Uh, per six missing mana. Next half full stuff. Okay. So we have uh, eight missing mana. Maybe I should do something more. Uh, okay, so let's go. And then, per missing, we keep this. Per 10 you have, next to it gains one mana per damage dealt. Cool. I use this one. I've got one HP left. Going to give this guy a use. And then a mana. Uh, in this case, the big one goes down. And the goblet, what about? So takes one less damage. Oh boy, that was the problem. I don't like this guy at all. So more one and in this and this guy goes nowhere in this case. Sure. Here we go. Six damage instead of a bunch. Great. Okay, so per four health missing plus from in prism. We only got six HP missing. But in this case, we need Vampirism. Uh, okay. Plus three mana, plus five. Use this one and then get three more. So these guys take less damage, one less damage. I really, really don't like this. So you just have to go down. And then I just toss. And here we go. Oh boy, that was a bit too much, but we will see. So then, health per, you have uh, okay, no leech at the moment, so lose all health but one. Hmm. Well, if I can. Wait, so undo, plus three, and do this, like this, uh, are we going to die? Hopefully not, no, no, we, we are going to die, unfortunately. Okay, this guy is not going down, and we have more mana in this case, but put this guy down but I only have one HP so I screwed this up why are we getting HP back because the tutorial I guess okay prism of vitality no we have full mana full everything so we just bless them with this one okay do the toss. Six one I'm missing. Getting twice the stack. But we only have like okay, no. Gain more mana. It's at least free. Uh cool. mana so how to take down we should take down the biggest one if we can takes one less damage screw you huh 
So it's going to deal one damage. So only one damage for five. Two damage for four. Yes. I think we need this, definitely. Uh-huh. Like this. Yes. You have mana missing. Well, it's that's not going to be like maximum health, right? No. So we undo this. Then still retain one, so no problem. Uh, and yes, in turn, so we're going to get five damage. Pretty cool. Thirteen enemies left, so let's try to get. Uh, one you have okay so in this case we're just going to give it like extra leech and one man prism for mana missing okay yes so we got three stacks twice the stack so like this one three and more Okay, like this one takes less damage. Damn it, takes one less damage. Okay, no problem. So for the short four closest. Well, here we go. Uh, this one won't die. I don't know. Hey, let's go, like this. Okay, we can have like a bunch of stuff cool. Lose will have but one at last. Get intelligence, max mana, great. Uh, put this one, then we will like extra grating, and then mana, and then more. No toss in this case. Do you to the mission the four closest? Yes. Mm, yes. Less damage, never mind. Okay, here we go. It was a kind of okay solution. Vampirism um, for sure. We do not have uh, Vitality Bear Mana, you have, do not have, so we have to use this. Uh, and Leech. So if we deal a bunch of damage, we got mana back. Extra vitality, great. They are down. Three left. Down, and yeah, we should be able to solve this. Okay, plus a bunch of HP. Uh, okay, missing mana. Here we go. Three plus, four plus, end. Another. Get to full. Uh, takes less damage. So like this one dies and the other one dies. Okay, victorious. New run or quit. So with a new run, we are going to go and check out the same character, in my opinion. You start this run with Crystal of Fury. Per eight mana missing, plus one Fury next to lead, it deals twice as much damage. And bandage of prayer, health plus six. Uh, next half of status gets twice, and it is retain. Okay, so back to main menu. And what about play? Uh, exiting the run. Yes. Oh, sorry, not proceed. Uh, cancel. Play. The existing run will be lost. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, this is a new run. Mm, okay, awesome. So what about Crystal of Boon? Eight, per eight mana missing, plus one Boon Exhibiti cost zero mana, great. Vampirism scroll, and we know these, and okay, more heroes to choose from, great. We have like a pool of three that we can choose with every single time. So tough melee fighter, and we also have a Paladin Blast Warrior. So we definitely have the good old D2 vibe based on the characters. Okay, let's see this one. Cleave. 
Cost four mana, this one damage to four closest enemies. Great one. Four mana, this two damage to two closest. Uh, four mana, this three damage to the closest enemy. Plus rage, next ability, this one more damage. Really cool. So with the ram, we can take down like this guy. And then it is increased damage. So for the four one, this one dies for sure. Uh, that's a good idea. Extra mana. Four. Use it. And blast them down. Yes. This one is not retained, so we will use it. Plus three. Gain one prison next ability. Gains two health per damage dealt. Okay. Haha, <laughs> nice one. What about this one? Boom. Next ability cost zero mana. Use this and then the ability. We are on full. This is on the retained one. Per eight mana missing. Well, should have used it. Never mind. Same stuff. And deals two damage to two closest enemies, but in this case it's free. So we can take down that guy. Eight mana missing. Cool one. This is a free one. And for like two, two, uh, you know, let's just take down the first two and turn. Awesome. Extra, extra, and here we go. So we only have seven. Well, more damage for, you know, the next time. Is it going to be kept? Yes, great. More, more, and devotion stuff. Free damage for the f first two, yes. And then this one. And are we going to die? No, we are getting HP back. Not sure why, by the way, but okay. I think I understand this. Cool, so we do not need mana at the moment. Bless them down. More mana. Get it. Well, in this case, it's going to be an end, so cool. Choose a card to replace of potion. We have scroll of benediction to mana. Next mana gain is doubled. Nice. Scroll of fury to mana. Next ability deals twice as much damage. Yes, please. And this one is the chant. Plus mana. Next half full status. Yes, we already know the stack one. Choose a card to replace a potion. Health plus three mana retain. Lose half HP. Nope. Uh, yeah, we go with the bandage. Okay, the guys are here. Okay, let's go. Plus two mana, not max mana. Okay. This one. And we deal four damage to the first four enemies. Cool. And then... Okay, not max health, cool. Mana, mana, mana. Here we go. And blasting, great. So cleave is just awesome. We got bash and also ram. Mm -hmm. uh, plus three mana. Yes, we need this. Also boon, this one costs zero. Let's go. like this because it was doubled two damage free damage so these two are going down here we go and yeah we won't die we get a bunch of uh, stuff back in this case we will get HP back as well 
thanks to the fight. Uh, I mean, the vampirism ability. Uh, it's going to be wasted, so. Four damage. Two. We are max HP. Uh, more mana. And this, and this. Yes. Barbarian is cool. I also really like the whole flow of the game. I'm not sure why are we getting, like, you know, resurrected uh, when we die, but maybe, you know, for the purpose of uh, how to see the demo, check out the demo, how the game plays, maybe it's a good idea. So, next ability deals twice as much damage. Okay, boon is going to cost zero. Great. So, like, this one, and then this one, Deal six damage for the first two. Cool. Extra mana. The ram. And here we go. Uh, the fury one. Uh, okay, the bone. This was also for free. Use this one. Four damage to everyone. Like this, this. And this and we can also do like here we go seven damage things are great vampirism mana mana hit and here we go great what about flask uh, we get vitality six vitality it Adds health and max health. Great. Pl uh, okay, twice amount, but health, not maximum health. Mana, intellect. It adds mana and maximum mana. Do we need like an intellect flask for a barbarian? In an ideal world, yes, but at the moment, no. Offering of reach. Lose all health but one. Per free health lost. Yes, we really need to check out the reach one with the barbarian. Okay, uh, vitality adds health and maximum health, but I'm going to use it like this one. Uh, hit a bunch, put it in like this, deal a bunch of damage. After eight mana is missing, like this. Take down the big one, the first one. Here we go. And some prism. So 10 damage, no problem. This one's going to cost... Nope. Uh, okay, so we need... Like this. Use that one. Mana. Extra damage. Four, two, one, two, three, four. And we will also have like options to take down the first two one. Oh sorry, one, because this one takes one less damage. Pesky orc. Goblin elit, sorry, it's not an orc. We do not have vampirism at the moment. Boy. Okay. But I really I have to check this out. Six closest enemies. Oh, okay, that's the maximum. Oh, okay, so I was thinking that maybe we can bump it to like hell or whatever, but no. Unfortunately, that's not the case. Okay. Extra mana. Oh, oh, oh. Well, that was a bad idea. Never mind, they die. Give it this. And. Yeah, that's it, but we will get like resurrected. No problem. This one also gives like max health. Standard one. Uh I'm pretty sure no at the moment, I guess. Okay, this one I mean not retained, so Oh, okay, uh undo 
do the the damage and then add vampirism and then do this and here we go okay missing so it's going to cost zero uh there was no eight mana missing Pass on favor, 8 mana missing, next ability costs 0 mana, but we have 8 missing. So why there is no... Oh, wait, so because... What? Mana plus 3, pair 8... Ah, okay, because in this case, this one happens first. Oh boy. Interesting, interesting idea. Give this one there, and then... Okay. Here we go. Uh... That's for free. We cannot stack those, seemingly. This one is plus vitality, extra mana, things like that, uh, damage, and here we go. 13 enemies left. Ring of Reach. Uh, we have Vampirism. So that's definitely going to happen. So, okay, let, let's see the combo. Like, one damage more. Vampirism. And this one. And we heal plus 37. Yes! That's what I call gaming. Okay. And, uh, two. Well, uh, they just die. And yes, cool one, uh, get like, no, yes, vitality, uh, 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 hit, more mana, more stuff, two damage, and yeah, you should be, okay, uh, Get this one, use this one, damn it, this one, get it, for free, two damage, and the extra, and it is done. Victorious, okay, let's quit. Oh, it quit the whole game, why? Okay, that's interesting, that's an interesting idea to do. Let's relaunch the game, <laughs> so I can... <laughs> So why can't we quit from the whole game at the end of a run? Isn't it like a incentive to go to the main menu? And in this case, people can say, mm, well, this was really cool, so maybe I should last one more run. That's just an idea and uh, some observation from something who's doing great testing as a full job. So, I have to fa say, have to say, no, also say, Forest Gen is a pretty cool game. I really like the art style, the whole atmosphere of the game. The basic core mechanics are really cool. Some of the names of the, like, positive stacks and routine and, and all the things are, are kind of not as clear as they should be for the first time in my opinion. Some icons could have been changed to resemble stuff a bit better, in my opinion. But nevertheless, I really like the whole idea, the aesthetic, I'm a huge fan of D2, huge fan of all the, like, you know, dark fantasy stuff, ERPGs as well, currently blasting a, a bunch of POE once again. So, it is a really great idea. I really hope that the game is getting finished and it will be a success because I'm pretty sure there is like a need for this type of games. And yeah, check out the demo of Forest Tijin. It is on Steam and you can play it for free. Thank you very much for the devs for sending me the email about the demo. And for today, I was the Alchemist and I'm seeing you with more awesome indie games pretty soon.